Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, so of course we're going to do another sales update video. Uh, yeah, some pretty cool stuff going out this weekend, so I uh, just want to show you a bit of a bit of a selection and um, yeah, as usual really. So uh, let's start off with some plush toys. We recently uploaded a bunch of plush toys to the store and uh, a bunch of sold already. So the first one we've got is this uh, pretty large uh, Tommy Pikachu. Uh, it's probably about 15, 18 inches, something like that, as you can see. It's pretty big. Hands is uh, sort of just covers his face. It's a pretty nice one. Uh, I think I'm 15 pound. Uh, we've got this Sonic plush going out next as well. Uh, this is a really nice Sega uh, plush toy actually. Um, really nice condition too. I don't think it's got too much age to it actually, but um, don't know if there's a date there. Maybe you can spot one. But yeah, that one's going out for 10 pound. Uh, next up, we have this bag of uh, these are the dwarves from Snow White. Um, there is actually only six in here. We opened up a pop-up shop last Christmas, and um, all of our, you know, we stocked a load of plush toys because they're really good sellers at Christmas. And um, someone decided to buy one dwarf. <laughs> so these, we've been stuck with these ever since. Uh, luckily, someone has decided to pay uh, fifteen pound for the rest of them. Um, pretty cheap price for six dwarves, to be honest. But we've had them for so long, and I just kind of put them on clearance really so um, I'm kind of glad to see them go but it's a shame that there was only uh, only six uh, there's a couple more plush we have uh, is this Feronius Gru or whatever his name is uh, from Despicable Me the bad guy that is played by um, oh what's his name I forget who plays him now uh, really popular guy uh, anyway that was a fiver and uh, next one we've got going out is this vintage uh, Jigglypuff uh, beanies, beanie plush. Uh, this is going out to one of our affiliates, Becky. Uh, so give her a follow, give her a shout out. Um, yeah, so I'm glad that you enjoy this this plush, Becky. This one will be coming out to you very, very soon. Uh, next up, we have some games to get through. I'll just r quickly run through these. Uh, so the first one we've got going out is Sunset Overdrive on the Xbox One. This is actually brand new and sealed. Uh, we have some Game Boy uh, Advance, uh, sorry, Game Boy Color games. We have Winnie the Pooh, Adventures in the Hundred Acre Wood, and Dinosaur. Those are going out for £15 for the pair. And then we have this uh, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 4. Um, these are really, really nice condition, these games. These these were within the bundle that uh, I got the Zelda and the, the Pokemon uh, Gold with as well. So really, really minty condition. This one's going out for £20. And uh, lastly is just this Scooby-Doo Cyber Chase on the PlayStation 1. Pretty nice condition. There's a little bit of um, damage just here, as you can see. And there is uh, there is some sticker residue there. But, uh, yeah, that, that can be removed. I just didn't want to risk cracking the case for the sake of a little bit of sticker residue. Because it's quite a tough, quite a tough residue. Uh, but, yeah, got complete with the game and the manual in there. Um, so, yeah. Pretty nice game. Uh, I've had had multiple of these over the over the years, and these these always sell. They're not they're not worth a great deal, but they do always sell. Uh, next up, we've got some toys. These are this is a bag of Star Wars mashers. There's a whole bunch of people in here. You got uh, Darth Vader there with his lightsaber. You have got Han Solo. Um, there is Boba Fett, and I think Luke Skywalker's in here as well. Really nice bundle. There's loads of different pieces in here. Loads of different accessories and things that you can mash and switch. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool, £17. Uh, we've also got this uh, collectible figure. This is a Superman from... Um, I actually forgot the name of this in, in the video where I showed this off. But this is from... Uh, I believe this is from Deceased. So that's the comic book series that uh, I was previously looking at. So I told you it was a play on words. But yeah, really nice Superman figure. Uh, it's kind of like the, the zombie zombified one. He's got some extra legs and hands that you can switch him out with. Uh, pretty cool. That one's going out for £35 and uh, let's see what we've got next uh, I'll show you a couple of singles that are going out or the more interesting ones anyway uh, we've got this graded Pikachu uh, sorry Ash and Pikachu uh, Pokemon Top sticker this is a graded by a 10 graded a 10 by OG and this one is going out for uh, I think it's £30 something like that uh, but yeah a really really nice sticker I, I really like this one I think it's uh, a great anime throwback uh, and then the next one I wanted to show you is just this Dark Charizard this is a hollow, um, but this this has actually got a double. I wish it, I wish the light would show up. You see that? You see here there is a uh, there's a swirl right, but the, it's actually a figure of eight. 
Um, and I'm struggling to struggling to get that show in there. Let me see if I can focus a little bit better. Come on. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get it. But yeah, this is a really, really nice dark Charizard. It's got a figure of eight uh, swirl up here. Um, I think that's some sort of error where, <laughs> where this, because you don't usually see sort of uh, the swirls so close together. But yeah, it's a really nice hollow dark Charizard. It's in really, really nice condition too. Uh, I don't know if you can particularly see that. There's a couple of dings and stuff. I mean, it's, it's not a 10 by any stretch, but it is in really nice condition. And it's got this double uh, double swirl. I'll kind of just catch it. There you go. Look, can you see that there? Uh, yeah, look at that. What a wicked, wicked Cosmo hollow swirl. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, so yeah, really unique card. This one's going out for, I think it's 110... Uh, I forget exactly, but yeah, really, really nice uh, single. And um, I, I need to start stocking up some singles on the store actually, because I, I noticed that we're kind of running low um, and I've got kind of a stack to go on, but it just takes so long to, to pick up cards. You know, I'm sure everybody could appreciate if you sell, if you sell cards yourself, uh, even if, you know, even collectors who sell, you know, uh, cards on eBay and stuff. But anyway, the last thing I wanted to show you uh, was just this Tony Hawk's uh, skateboard. This one is going out today of £30. Uh, this was actually, I was contacted by a lady on eBay who said that she's going to buy this for a 13 year old granddaughter. So um, that's really nice. It's going to be a, a good be beginner board for her. This is actually a, a part of the beginner series for Tony Hawk. So, um, yeah, I mean, this, is, this has been used, but it's in a very, very nice condition. And there's just some really, really nice artwork on this. And yeah, this, um, yeah, the, the Golden Eagle is kind of like a classic Tony Hawk. Um, motif i guess isn't it uh yeah you can see on here it has had some use on it but it's still a really nice board and this has got some really nice yeah it's still got a load of uh, friction on it um as you can see it's got you know curved uh woods to help you get those kick flips and ollies and all that sort of stuff uh yeah really really nice board this comes with the tony hawks uh crash helmet as well so yeah, really, really nice. Uh, that one's going out, I don't know if I said that, but that's going out for £30. Um, it's always a good idea buying this stuff until you realise you've got to pack it and, and ship it out. And uh, it wouldn't be so bad if it was just a board, actually. But I think the helmet is kind of... <laughs> that's going to be... I'm going to have to try and figure out how to ship this. I might have to uh, strap two boxes together or something. But uh, yeah, I, we'll get this shipped out safely anyway. Nothing ever turns up damaged, so... Um, yeah, we've sold out, sold thousands and thousands of items and um, we've never had any damages reported. So, yeah, I mean, some of the way that I package stuff is a little unorthodox, um, but, you know, like I always cut down boxes and stuff and, and wrap it around so it's got extra protection. It does look a little bit messy, but I'd rather your item get there safely and, and well protected than um, than in a really nice looking box. So <laughs> that's kind of the way it happens. But, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of everything I'm going to show you this week. Video's gone on for eight minutes now anyway, so there's probably nobody watching. Uh, but, yeah, like if you enjoyed seeing some of this stuff. Uh, subscribe if you're new here and come back. Um, we probably won't have many more videos coming this week, actually, as uh, we've got a few things coming on. So... I'll try and get some out, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, come back and uh, like, like the video.